Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me Wayne here. Today we're back in the city of Houston about to go on another food adventure. And this time around, we're going to a Filipino restaurant called Gary's Grill. Now, I think they actually have multiple locations across the US, but the one we're going to is in Chinatown in Houston. And I can't wait because I've never been in there before, but I heard so many great things about it. So with that being said, I'm getting hungry. So let's go get some food. Well, let's go get something to eat. So we just got to Gary's Grill and I have to say the entire place looks absolutely amazing. It's very big, very spacious, very bright, very clean and staff is super friendly. So that's, that's the most you can ask for, right? Oh man, I'm excited to try this. Anyways, once you sit down, you'll be given a menu. As you can see, the menu is actually quite big. They got many different items for you to order from. They got appetizers, they got soups, they got vegetables, they got char grilled items, they got house specialties. And even on the back, there's more items too. For instance, there's noodles, rice, desserts, drinks, bottled beers, and so much more. The options are endless. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some of the most popular Filipino dishes that they serve and order that and try it out. So basically it's gonna be like a sisig, we got a pan seed, we got pork barbecue, stuff like that and hopefully it tastes good. So with that being said, I'm gonna place the order and be right back. So our food just arrived. I have to say it looks absolutely delicious. Like look at all the assortment of foods. So we got four different foods. We got adobo rice, we got pan sit bihon, we got sizzling sisig, pork, and also pork barbecue, all which looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try it out. So with that being said, let's just dig in because I can't wait any longer. So first things first, let's try the pan sit bihon, which as you can see, there is so many different ingredients and vegetables inside. There is some rice vermicelli, there's a lemon, there's green onions, there's onions, there's carrots, there's some type of meat, I'm guessing it's pork meat. And there's, there's also, I think, cabbage as well overall. It looks to be absolutely amazing. So let's grab a little bit, put it on our plate over here. Oh man, this looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Grab a little bit more. And that's, where's my fork? Oh, gotta get my fork. Get my fork over here. Oh man. All right, let's dig in. Let's see how it tastes, because this looks absolutely wonderful. As you can see, we got a nice big fork full. We got some, oh, I didn't get any vegetables. Hold on, let me get, let me get some vegetables over here. Put it on my plate. Get some veggies, put it on. All right, that looks about good. Oh man, let's dig in, get a little bit of everything. As you can see, we got some vegetables, we got some carrots, some green onions, some, I think cucumber. We got some pork and, oh, this looks so good. Let's just give it a bite. That is flavorful, wow. Rice vermicelli, cooked very nice, super soft, very tender, has a little bit of bounciness to it. Everything else, absolutely flavorful. Carrots, it's very soft, very tender. Onions, a little bit sweet, a little bit savory overall. Very nice addition. And they also have lemon over here, which you can add to it as well. I'm gonna add some lemon to my little pan seed over here. Give it a little bit of citrusy juice, make it a little bit more acidic, mix it up and Let's give it a bite once again with the lemon. Let's see it this time. Because without the lemon, it was already really good. But let's see what the lemon does to this. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Definitely add that lemon. That lemon gives it a whole nother zest. It gives it some zing, zesty sensation. A little bit sour, a little bit sweet, acidic, citrusy flavor. Very, very good. And there's also pork in here too, which I have to say, nicely done. They cut into very small thin strips so it's very tender and soft and chew. Very very good. Mmm. Oh yeah. They season it to perfection. It's just so flavorful. I mean, when you look at it, it doesn't look that complicated at all. It looks very simple. Just rice vermicelli, some vegetables, some pork, some lemon, and that's about it. But guarantee once you taste it, oh my lord, your mind will be blown. It is just so so good. Oh. I'm a happy camper. So with that being said, let's move on to our next plate, which is 
the sizzling sisig. As you can see, I, if I recall correctly, sisig is basically made out of pork face. So there's ears, there's nose, there's the rest of the face and everything, the mouth. So it looks absolutely delicious. Like it looks, there's just so many different things in here. I can't even tell what's what. They also added a fried or a raw egg in here. And because the sizzling plate was super, super hot, you're supposed to bake the egg apart and mix it into the sisig. And that's exactly what we've done. As you can see, you got a few white egg, white eggy parts of the egg. Oh, always oh, looks so, so delicious. Let's grab a little bit and put it on our plate. Oh man, this looks so yummy. And it smells so fragrant, so amazing, wow. Let's grab a little bit of spoon, as you can see. Oh man, I don't even know what's what. Like I know it's supposed to be part of the pork face, but it's all chopped so finely and small. You literally can't tell, but hopefully it tastes good. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Oh wow. Like, is pork face supposed to taste like that? Like, it's very fatty but yet also soft and tender with some parts of it being a little bit crunchy or crispy. Very good texture, seasoned to perfection, very flavorful. Oh man, this is absolutely delicious. I need to get a little bit more, hold on. I'll put some on my plate. Oh man, but you got the eggy goodness which gives it a nice soft pillowy taste. Very, very good. Oh man, I think there's also some onions in here as well, which I can definitely tell because you get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of savory sensation from the onion. Very, very delicious. Oh man. Mmm. Oh. This is good. Mmm. Oh, if you guys ever go to Gary's Grill, definitely get the sizzling sisig, the pork one. I know they have a fish one as well. Maybe that's good as too. I don't know. But the pork. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. The, the pork, the, the sisig is way better than the pan sit bihon. Pan sit bihon was already very good, but sisig takes it to another level. Oh wow. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh. So, so good. Not only that, they also give you lemon too, where you can squeeze it onto the cystic to give it a nice citrusy and acidic taste, which is what I'm doing right now. As you can see, we mix the cystic with some lemon. Let's get a little bit more bites, see how it tastes with the lemon. But, oh man, even without the lemon, cystic was absolutely delicious. But let's see how it tastes with the lemon. Oh, that is just so good. So, so good. I, I don't know, I think sisig might be my new favorite Filipino food. Like, it's just so amazingly good. With that lemon as well, definitely takes it to another level. Wow, this is delicious. Mmm, mmm. And the part that I really like about sisig is that every bite you take, you get a whole bunch of different textures in your mouth. For instance, some parts a little bit crispy, a little bit crunchy, some parts a little bit oily, some parts a little bit fatty, some parts soft, some parts tender. It's just a whole wide range of textures and flavors in each and every bite. Absolutely phenomenal. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Highly recommend the sisig. So with that being said, we already tried two out of the four items and so far, I'm having an amazing time and experience. The food is just so delicious. Let's try the third item now, which is the adobo rice, which in all honesty, it looks to me kind of like a Chinese fried rice. I think it's basically similar, right? So you got rice mixed with old items and stuff like that. You got some vegetables. I think, I think that's crispy onions. And you also have some pork meat as well. And look at the pork meat. This pork meat is absolutely humongous. They are not skipping out on here. They are very generous with their food. Oh man, this looks so, so good. Let's get some crispy, crispy onions as well. Put it over here and let's give it a bite because it looks absolutely amazing. Let's get a little bit of everything. Let's get some let's get some rice, let's get some pork and more. I just got a little bit of everything here. Some nice adobo rice, that nice cooked pork. Oh, let's give it a taste. Mmm, mmm. Wow. It is all about that pork, literally. Rice itself, it's nice, it's flavorful, it's a little bit savory. A little bit sweet for some reason. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but it does taste good. Onion, crispy onions, I have to be honest, you don't really taste the crispy shallots or onions whatsoever. But the rice has a nice, um, it feels like it's been braised or something. It has this nice porky flavor that is absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm guessing they cooked it together with the pork, so it's just infused together with the rice. Super duper delicious. But the star of the show is definitely the pork. As you can see, the pork is super nicely cut, very big piece, and it's just so delicious. Very soft, very tender. 
very moist and juicy and just so so delicious wow this is absolutely amazing mm. Mm. and what i like about the adobo rice is that they give so much pork like i know there's a lot of rice too but each portion is humongous enough to fill like probably three people at most i need to learn how to make this i want to make this at home and eat this every day the adobo rice is just blow my mind fantastic it's just so delicious now that we established that the adobo rice is good as well so far very very happy three out of the four dishes absolutely amazing especially that seasick that seasick was so so good but we got our final item left which is the pork barbecue and being how the other three items are so good i can't i can already imagine just how good or delicious this pork barbecue is and just look at it this is a skewer. They give you three skewers, by the way. And this skewer is super duper big and it's glistening in the oil and juice. Oh man, like, look at how shiny this is. Can the, ca can the camera even capture it? Like, oh shit, it's also leaking juice over here too. Oh man, that is how juicy and moist it is. Oh, let's just go on in because I can't wait any longer. This is, this is so good. Mmm, mm. oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh man. Now you see this leaking juice. That's how juicy it is. But like, you know, even though it's good, I feel like they cooked it a little bit too long because some parts of it is very soft, very tender, very moist and juicy. As you can see, it is super juicy. But there's some parts that are a little bit tough to chew, a little bit dry. So that just tells me like they probably cooked it a little bit too long. Either way, still very good flavor. Very, very nice. It has a sweet glaze over it that pairs perfectly well with the pork barbecue. Super, super good. Even with that dryness, absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Very, very good. And it brings me back to my other point where they were just super duper generous. I mean, if you look at the pork barbecue skewer, there is so much pork on this skewer. Like they literally filled this entire skewer up was pork barbecue, all of which is so delicious. There's some nice charry bits of the wear over there. I can't wait to try that out. But so far, very good skewer. Even with that dryness, still very tasty, very delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is good. And in all honesty, I think it's just some parts that's dry. Like a lot of the other parts should probably be juicy more because the second meat that I ate, no dryness whatsoever, super soft super tender, very juicy and moist. There are no dry parts at all. So I think it was just the first part that was a little bit dry, but everything else seems super good. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is very tasty. Wow. I'm enjoying my time here. So with that being said, I'm gonna put down the pork barbecue and all I had to say is that, you know, my experience at Gary's Grill has been absolutely phenomenal. All of the foods were so, so delicious. They were like, mm, excellent. Like literally all four of the foods. The adobo rice was pork, the pancit bihon, the sizzling sea sig was pork, and also the pork barbecue, all of which absolutely amazing. Not only that, each and every plate is so humongous. Like each plate can fill the bellies of three people. And I got four plates. I don't know how I'm gonna finish all of this. They were so, so generous with the portions over here. Price point wise, it's also really fair. You know, it's a good price. Each plate was around 10 to $15, which I think is a pretty fair price to pay considering how delicious and flavorful the foods are, and especially how big the portions they give you, wow. Absolutely amazing. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna finish all this. I'm definitely gonna have to take some home. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the foods and take you out to the dessert section. Be right back. Now they tried out all the foods. You didn't think we leave without trying dessert, right? So with that, we got a hollow hollow. As you know, it's a popular Filipino dessert. And I already opened the lid over here, but as you can see, there's so many different greens. I think a hollow hollow is like a shaved ice mixed with some ube, some uh, what other greens did they have? There's there's some beans at the bottom. Is that yellow? I think there's some cac fruit, I think. No, there's a, what is that, what is that fruit again? Jack fruit, I think. And some green cubes, some red cubes at top, and a whole bunch of shaved ice over here, all of which looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try it. But with that being said, let's just grab a spoon and give it a bite of Let's get a little bit of everything. Get some shaved ice, get some ube, get some of that red jello looking thing. Oh man, this looks so good. So, let's give it a try. Mmm, oh. That was so good. Ube itself, very soft, very creamy. Has a nice, how do you even describe ube? Like ube is just ube. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it, it, it kind of tastes like a taro, but a way better taro. And you also got the jello, red jello. I think it's jello at least. It's nice, soft, bouncy. You got shaved ice, which I think condensed milk. I think they also added condensed milk in here as well. You got a nice sweet sensation. 
very delicious. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. And with that, the meal is complete. Oh, man. Overall, I have to say, my experience at Gary's Grill has been absolutely phenomenal. You know, they give such huge portions, and each portion of the food tastes so, so delicious. It was flavorful, it was tasty, it just makes for a really good bite. Price point is also very fair, too. Each plate was like $10 to $15. Very good deal. Overall, there's nothing really to complain about. I had a very good time here. So all I have to say is that, you know, if you guys are ever in the Houston area, definitely go visit Gary's Grill. I think you will absolutely love it. It's a nice place, kind of hidden away near Chinatown. But once you find it, absolutely worth it. Oh, man. So, so good. Oh, man. That was a lot of food. Holy moly. I never knew Gary's Grill gave such huge portions. You know, each plate was so, so big, but absolutely worth it. Price point was fair. You know, it was a good experience. So with that being said, all I have to say is that you know, if you guys are ever in the city of Houston and you're wanting to try some really amazing Filipino food, definitely go to Gary's Grill. I mean, it's located a little bit hidden away in Chinatown, but once you find it, You'll absolutely love it. And once that, that basically ends the video. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, share the video with all your friends and family. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because, you know, I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. So that's basically it. See you later.